Hi, Mike and Eben Grace here with you to talk about the Grace Design M802 microphone preamplifier. The M802 microphone preamplifier system is a remote controlled eight channel mic preamp. The main reasons for designing a remote controlled mic preamp are to keep the lines from the microphone to the preamplifier very short. You can place the M802 on stage or in the studio close to the mics and then run long line levels back, either analog or digital to your recording location. Another benefit to having a remote control mic preamplifier, in this case this is digitally remote controlled, with one single remote control you can address up to 64 channels in a mic preamplifier system and also have preset storing and recall so it makes it a very powerful system. Next we'll go through some of the detailed features and functions of the M802. The M802 preamplifier can be controlled by an M802 RCU or remote control unit up to a thousand feet away with the serial link. The remote control unit can control up to eight M802 preamplifiers simultaneously, so that's 64 channels. Other methods of control for the M802 include front panel interface, so it can operate as a standalone preamplifier, or via MIDI when controlled to a Pro Tools HD system. Okay, the standard M802 has eight 48 volt mic inputs and eight XLR balanced outputs, as well as an auxiliary analog output on a DB25 connector. So that's two sets of analog outputs. The M802 can be ordered with optional pairs of DPA 130 volt microphone inputs. And as well, it can be ordered with the optional eight channel analog to digital converter card which then provides two sets of AES-3 outputs and one set of AES-3ID outputs. The user interface on 802 is designed to be extremely simple and intuitive to operate. The LCD graphics display indicates normally eight channels of microphone preamp data. The encoder knob moves a cursor which selects individual channels. Once an individual channel is selected, Pushing the encoder knob puts you into gain adjust mode. Now we can turn the gain up and down on that channel. Pushing it again exits gain adjust mode. Additionally, whatever channel is selected, you can turn the 48 volt power on by pressing the 48 button, and you can invert the phase by pressing the phase reverse button. If you have more than one preamplifier in the system, if you scroll to channel eight and then keep going, it will page over to the next preamplifier in the system. You'll be able to see the data for that preamp. Other display modes include the meter mode. Normally in this mode, you see eight channels of full preamplifier setup information. Pressing and holding the view button switches you to meter mode. In meter mode, you can see 24 channels of bar graph meter simultaneously. This allows you to keep an eye on multiple channels, watch for overs and that sort of thing. And again, in this page, you can scroll from preamps one uh, with channels one through 24 on to preamps with channels 25 through 48, and then to 49 through 64. If you desire to have channels grouped together so that you can adjust their gain simultaneously, you can define gain adjust groups. To do this, hit the group button, and now you can see group mode is active. Select the first channel that you want in the group and push and hold the group button while you turn the encoder knob and it adds channels to the group. When you're done, release the group knob. Now, if we push the encoder to enter gain control mode, all the channels move simultaneously. Incidentally, group mode will maintain gain offsets between channels if they're not all set at the same gain. Pressing the setup button enters you into the setup menu, and there are a number of options here that control how the M802 operates. The first option is for preset storage. The M802 has 16 user storage presets. This is handy for saving a setup after a sound check or a rehearsal and being able to recall it later. Second menu item is to recall the preset that you've previously stored. In the third menu, we have some display options. The bar graph meters have a peak option. You can either have a peak hold that's off, 
a peak hold that has a decay time or an infinite hold. You can adjust the LCD contrast depending on your viewing angle and you can turn the backlight off. In the next set of menus we have input select. If the M802 is fitted with the optional DPA 130 volt microphone inputs, this menu allows you to select between that connector or the standard 48 volt XLR connector. When using the MIDI inputs on the M802, it will switch into a DigiDesign Pre emulation mode. This allows you to connect it to a DigiDesign HD system and have it show up in your mix window as if it were a regular Pro Tools preamp. The optional A to D module for the M802 turns the M802 into a mic preamp A to, a to D converter all in one box. The A to D converters themselves are extremely high performance, state-of-the-art, ultra-low noise, wide dynamic range converters. They can sample at 44.1 through 192 kilohertz and output 24-bit data on AES-3 and AES-3ID output simultaneously. All of the converter parameters can be controlled from the front panel interface of the 802 or from the remote control unit. When we first started working on the core circuitry for the M802, it became clear that we had a significant challenge. When you control a mic preamp circuit with a rotary switch, the performance is excellent because you're using a zero noise, zero distortion contact. When you go to make a preamplifier remote controllable, all of a sudden you have to use some different kind of circuit to control the gain. We looked at all the different types of circuits that had been used before in remote controlled microphone preamplifiers and we decided that none of them met our sound quality requirements. So we had to start basically from scratch and invent our own circuit. And the circuit that we came up with in the M802, I believe, is absolutely unique in the world. It has extremely low noise, very low distortion, and has basically no sonic imprint whatsoever. It has the same kind of sonic performance of a rotary switch, but allows you to remote control it. Also very important in a remote control preamp is the output driver stage, since typically the preamp is driving long cable lines back to the studio or to the control room in a truck. The output drivers have to be able to deliver incredible amounts of current to charge the cable capacitance of long lines. The output drivers in the M802 have almost three times the current capability of most microphone preamp outputs, enabling it to drive long lines and multiple lines, in fact, if you need to be able to send signals to, to multiple destinations. This, coupled with being able to control it from up to a thousand feet away, makes it an absolutely indispensable tool. We feel that the M802 is an absolutely unique product in the world. Nowhere do you get the same level of sonic performance with the flexibility of the remote control capability of this preamplifier. Thanks again to our friends at Immersive Studios for letting us use this beautiful facility for this video, and thanks for watching.